with Dean Devlin and Jonathan Glasner. How are y'all guys going today? Good. How are you? Doing awesome. How are you doing, Dean? Terrific. Awesome. You've got this brand new series y'all are doing called The Ark on Sci-Fi Channel. Can you first, Dean, talk a little bit about what that's about and how it's a little bit differs from science fiction? You said it was kind of more of a positive aspect of the future. Well, this is a story of a ship that is trying to find a new home for mankind. Um, and the, the, the idea is that they would be put in cryogenic sleep for the journey and be woken up a, like a week or two before uh, they, they land. But something happens, an accident happens halfway through, and all the sleeping pods are destroyed, so they can't go back into cryogenic sleep. Um, and, the, and the ship is damaged. And, and all the leadership, all the people who are supposed to run the ship, the uh, captain, the, the, all the people in charge, they all died in this accident. So everyone has to become the best versions of themselves if they're going to survive. Wow, and your role on this, talk about how your involvement is with the, the stories probably as well, right? Yeah, uh, Dean brought me in after he sold the pilot, and uh, I'm, I'm running the show with Dean and writing a lot of the episodes and rewriting a lot of the episodes and uh, and enjoying. It's a it's a fun show. Very cool. Both of y'all, you especially Dean, were influenced by sci-fi at an early age with Star Trek and your mother was in Star Trek and stuff like that. And you've got a little bit different story. How do you guys like correlate between the science fiction universe? Of course, you have worked on Stargate, you have worked on Independence Day and Stargate the movie. How is it being a part of the whole science fiction pop culture ecosphere related to this next phase of the television? Because you said you'd never done a television series like this. You know? Well, I've always wanted to have a, a spaceship show, yeah. and, and I'd never had one. So th this was my this was my shot at it. Um, but I've worked with Jonathan on uh, the Outpost, and I loved everything he did with the Outpost. I loved all of his ideas. I loved his scripts. I loved his story ideas. And so, uh, as soon as this looked like it, it could be real, uh, I called Jonathan and I begged him to be part of this. And uh, uh, you know, I, uh, honestly, a lot of this kind of storytelling I've learned from Jonathan. The storytelling, let's talk about that a little bit. You've done a lot of stuff and a lot of powerful storytelling, like in Stargate SG-1 and stuff like that. This show doesn't have exactly aliens, but it has a story, character-driven drama. How are you going to go about getting the story, you know, kind of like in the human, human uh, aspect of things? And what do you see like you'd like to kind of develop that if it were more seasons to come? Well, uh, you know, this is a show about a bunch of people who are not qualified to be doing their job, who are thrown into having to become qualified. And so it's a, it's a great opportunity to explore character and, and, and how people rise to the occasion and how they don't in some cases. And um, also it's, it's about humanity in general. I mean, what's the point of living if you're not gonna enjoy it? And so they're, they're doing their best to you know, get along and there's some, some romance and some, you know, they're longing for food and finding food. And you know, it, it's all about being human and what that means. And, I think that's uh, that's what gives us, you know, the, you know, the characters themselves are what give us the story. Sure. And wrapping up, uh, when does the show air and where can you find it, Dean? So uh, the show debuts on February 1st on Sci-Fi. Um, uh, the first two episodes will also repeat on Electric Now. So if you don't have the Sci-Fi channel, you can go on Electric Now and see it for free. Um, but once you fall in love with the show, then you're going to have to go get uh, either uh, uh, Peacock or... Uh, uh, the Sci-Fi Channel to see the rest of the shows. Yeah. Thank yeah, you so much, you Mr. Left John. Out that it's on Peacock right after Sci-Fi. It's on Peacock and Sci-Fi. Thank you, Dean. Thank you, John. So for Sci-Fiction, signing off.